Good morning and welcome to our manufacture. My name is Stefan Vaser and I'm Managed Director of Maurice Lacroix. I'm very excited today. We are revealing one of our latest manufacture movements and this is always a big milestone for the company. I will be your guide today and I will lead you through the presentation throughout the manufacture. Let's go inside. First, I would like to present you Thiebaud Benz, our international product and marketing director. He and his team have initiated this project three years ago from scratch. As you know, launching an in-house movement is always something special for Maurice Lacroix. I'm glad to share today this presentation with him. So, good morning Thiebaud, how are you? Good morning, Stefan. I'm very well, thank you. Pretty excited, to be honest. I can't wait to reveal the world our latest development. But before sharing the first images of our new model, can you tell us shortly the origin of this project and where the inspiration comes from? When I joined Maurice Lacroix back in 2017, the icon had just been launched in Quartz. Masterpiece was the most reputed collection thanks to its manufacture movement. There was one masterpiece in particular that was really appreciated by the watch community. Can you guess? The gravity? Indeed. And as you can understand, these strong elements, the icon, the gravity, have been source of inspiration for our launch today. We're working on what Maurice Lacroix did best. We believe with the team we can do it even better. Hmm. A few clues from Thiebaud there. Icon, gravity, manufacture movement. Are you ready to discover the watch? I'm so glad we have today the spirit of Masterpiece in our signature collection, the Icon. The Icon Master Grand Date truly reflects the mindset of the brand today. Creative, modern, fresh with a touch of coolness, and facing the know-how, the craftsmanship, and the experience of our employees and watchmakers. I'm so proud of our team's accomplishment. Can you tell now our audience how it all started? The original brief was to, to rework the spirit of the gravity. Uh, we wanted to keep the main aesthetic elements of the gravity with escapement visible from the front side and the off-centered indication hours, minutes, and seconds. We re-engineered the entire movement to make it thinner to fit in an icon case. And to add a little twist, we've added uh, the grand date indication to the caliber. I think that's a very useful add-on to the watch indeed. But we all know gravity movement is pretty thick, which is something well compensated and well balanced with this bomb sapphire crystal of the masterpiece case. How did you integrate this additional function to the icon case, known for offering a flat sapphire crystal without being too fat, too bulky in the end? This was another challenge for the construction team. And uh, as you can see on Sophie's screen, we could even integrate the grand date function and remain thinner than the gravity movement. This was possible with a smart solution in the construction process. With the gravity, the gear train is central, and to offer the off-centered indication, we've added a module. For the Icon Master Grand 8, we have skipped the module and directly off-centered the gear train. We could then save some thickness and easily integrate the Grand 8 animation. When the gravity caliber is 9.05 mm thick, the brand new Grand 8 caliber is only 8.40 mm. So we gain 0.65, which makes a clear difference in terms of thickness for a watch. Combined with the flat sapphire crystal of the icon and the 45 mm diameter of the case, this makes very reasonable proportions when on the wrist, right? Yes, I think we did our best to offer the best compromise between diameter and thickness. Now, tell us more about the movement. How do you construct it? And what were the challenges for the team? We have started with some existing elements of the ML234, which is our 16 and a half lines movement of very nice skeleton automatic. We've kept the gear train as well as the automatic assortment, 
but constructed from scratch all the other elements, like the main plate, the three-quarter plate, the anchor bridge, balance bridge, and of course the date mechanism. The additional challenge I gave to the construction team was to reach a perfect symmetry between the main elements of the face. The center of the subdial had to be aligned with the second wheel axis, which is aligned to the center of the balance bridge, itself aligned to the center of the grand date. The objective was to reach a design as slick as possible. Yes, when we look at the watch, I have this feeling of a perfect harmony between the different elements. And I have to admit, the integration of the grand date indication is very well executed. Even for me, used to the masterpiece gravity design. You're right, Stefan. When we started the development of the movement three years ago, we very quickly came to the idea of the, the grand date uh, indication. This was clearly the obvious additional function for this watch. But we also had some space restrictions, and thanks to the team, we found solutions. Let's have a talk with uh, Lionel, who actively participated to the development of this watch. Lionel, pourrais-tu nous présenter en quelques mots le mécanisme grande date de cette montre Nous avons deux disques pour l'affichage, un disque des unités, un disque des dizaines. Pour la correction rapide, nous avons un caractère qui travaille sur l'extérieur de l'étoile entraîneuse. Pour que le mouvement actionne l'étoile entraîneuse, nous avons un doigt flexible. L'étoile entraîneuse permet de faire tourner simultanément les deux rouages sur lesquels sont fixés les deux disques. Et pourrais-tu nous dire ce qui rend euh, ce mécanisme différent des grandes dates euh, déjà existantes Nous avons agencé les rouages au centre de l'étoile entraîneuse, ce qui nous a permis d'augmenter la taille des guichets et de placer avec harmonie sur le cadran et de gagner en épaisseur. De plus, nous avons utilisé la technologie laser, ce qui nous a permis de simplifier la fabrication et l'assemblage des composants compliqués et ainsi fiabiliser l'assemblage de notre complication. Thank you, Lionel, for the clear explanations. I think the team has done a great job and offered the best of Maurice Lacroix know-how for this watch. To finish with the movement, do you think we could share the experience of assembling this movement with our watchmaker Antoine? Yes, of course. Let's have a look at some steps of the movement assembly. I think that's great. That's pure watchmaking. And that's what I'm very proud about Maurice Lacroix, being able to offer a wide range of watches from quartz to high-end manufacturing movements under the same umbrella. Now that we've seen the movements table, can you tell us more about the design of the watch? Obviously, it's an icon case, diameter 45 mm, and this first model in steel. I can already tell you, Stefan, that we're going to offer other material to the watch in the future. The upper plate of the movement is grained and colored in blue nicely surrounding the hours and minutes dial, also in blue, featuring an embossed squared pattern. At six, we decided to keep the second indication opened with a very small hand with red pointer to see through the deep living mechanism. Between seven and eight, we have the balance wheel hanging from the modern circular bridge. We further opened the movement to discover the escapement wheel and pallets bringing the tic-tac to life. And last but not least, we wanted to offer a special window to the Grand Date, taking its inspiration from the six claw design on the bezel, clear signature of the icon family. And what about the back of the watch? For the decoration of the movement, we wanted to offer a modern and sleek touch to the icon Master Grand Date. We tried to avoid the classic decoration like Côte de Genève or Perlage and decided to go with something more modern and pure. During the production process, each part of the movement is treated with the highest attention, cleaned by hand after machining, sandblasted by pistol blowing bronze powder at very high speed, cleaned in several baths, followed by the final touch with all angles polished by hand to get this mirror effect. The final result is a contemporary decoration, perfectly resonating with the front side of the watch. It's clearly an icon. Thank you, Thiebaud, for this detailed presentation. I think it's now time to get the first feedback of a watch lover, very close to the collector's community, Alexander Friedman. Let's see what Alex thinks about our icon, Master Grand Date. Hi, Alex, nice to have you here in our beautiful factory. How are you? 
Ciao, Marcel. I'm very, I'm very well, thank you. Happy to be here. Always a pleasure to come and see you guys. Great. You are one of the first person who have had the possibility to discover the icon Master Grand State. You had a touch and feel. What's your impression of this piece? So I was very surprised. I mean, when you guys called me and said, we have something very special to, yeah. to present you, I said, okay, of course I will come. And definitely I was a surprise, I was positively surprised by, by your new creation. I mean, a high-end manufacture icon, wow, that was, you know, unexpected. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely uh, the design is very, you know, neat. Uh, the big date, a very useful complication. Uh, the, the movement, is, the finishings of the movement is are just amazing. And I, I do think that it really makes sense in terms of, you know, ex, you know, as an extension of the collection. What is for those collectors, for those aficionados, really the special thing of this watch? That why would they like this watch? I mean, you don't have anything to this, this quality. It's very hard to find another watch. Here you have really an extremely well finished timepiece very clear, and when you have it on hand, I mean, the look and feel is just amazing. And people are looking that. Young collectors today want something different. You are talking about the person, the target group. We are launching this watch for 7,500 francs on a bracelet and a this Gorduro strap, beautiful done. So how would you describe this target group or this customer? This the customer is really a customer that wants something different, that wants something, you know, special. And uh, nowadays where you have to stay home, you cannot socialize, you just spend your days on, 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 on social media. Uh, definitely if you want to spend money, you want something that has also value for money. You want something where the, not only the perceived value, but the object itself has to be very well finished and then have to bring you this emotion. And this piece actually fits all that. So there is a need now, and it makes complete sense for Maurice Lacroix to enter this category. I mean, there is a big demand for you know, limited series or uh, spe specific watches, high-end watches, very well-finished watches. What people want is to have a very nice watch at a very good price, mm -hmm. at a reasonable price. Thank you, Alex. But now it's time to look how the watch looks on the wrist. Thibault, we arrive at the end of the presentation of our Icon Master Grand Date. And I think, again, we've achieved a great milestone. Thank you, Stefan. And I have to say that I'm really glad that the watch is finally uh, revealed to the world. Uh, I'm proud of the team and the work we've done the last three years. And I can't wait to receive the first feedback of our friends, journalists, bloggers, influencers, and business partners during the upcoming Watches and Wonders. Yes, Watches and Wonders. We'll be there and have some exciting news to present. Don't forget to tune in. Thank you for joining today. Stay safe and see you soon.